we just got the release, named the Quest 2 V53 update, and with it came some amazing new features. But it is currently still in its public testing phase, with one of its biggest features being the all new laying down mode, which lets the user play games or watch videos while laying down on your bed or elsewhere. Now, if you ever try to lay down in VR, you will know that it will definitely cause some problems. And although there are some exceptions, like in Horizon Worlds or VR Chat, in general, most apps don't have support for it. But now, users can actually lay down on their couch, bed, or even the floor and still look like they're standing up in a virtual space. And this mode can be enabled under the accessibility settings. This means you can even play some games like Beat Saber while completely laying down although it might make it more difficult to dodge some of those walls. But that is not the only possibility for this, because it could also prove to be invaluable for those who are not able to stand up all the time while playing, or maybe for those people who cannot stand up at all. And another big feature that came with this update is the integration of Oculus Go titles. This was the 3 Degrees of Freedom VR headset that Meta very quickly shut down. However, there were some titles and games specifically released for this headset. And since it would be a big waste, Meta finally decided to integrate these apps back over to the Quest 2 and giving you access to some games and VR content you might have missed before. And for those Quest Pro users out there, this update will now also enable you to use local dimming in PC VR games. This is thanks to its QLED display and is probably not a feature that we will ever see back in that of the Quest 2. But Meta didn't stop there, because they also made the announcement that their big open social VR platform, known as Horizon Worlds, is now also going to be accessible for teenagers from 13 and up. Stop it. Get some help. Beforehand, it was only possible to access Meta Horizon if you were 18 years or older. But with Meta's new policy, they are changing these rules for those in the US as well as Canada. But to prepare for a wave of younger users, the company is also releasing some age-appropriate protection, with Meta stating that this is done to get more users inside our social platform. However, personally, I don't think this will benefit Horizon Worlds at all. Instead, to grow its user base, it might be smart for Meta to make a worldwide release since still the biggest part of the world doesn't even have access to it in the first place. And their same goes for their plans of a mobile release, where users can use their app without needing a VR headset at all. And I think that these two options would increase the user base much more, instead of reducing the age restriction by a big margin. But that gets us to the VR game news, with the sad announcement that the PlayStation VR 2 game, known as Dreams, will end its live service this year. For those who don't know, Dreams was a special game where you could actually create your own games within it. And although many users were hoping for a PlayStation VR 2 release, they now confirmed that it will end its live support to switch into new projects later this year. Of course, you will still be able to play the game and also share your creations with others, but there won't be any new updates or big events inside the game itself, which is definitely sad to see because the potential was so huge. But a new big VR game known as Breachers has been gaining popularity very quickly. This is a brand new 5v5 team-based first-person shooter that can be played on pretty much any VR headset, where it offers a tactical VR shooting experience with some satisfying gunplay. But the best part is that each team gets their own specific roles, meaning that securing your victories will all depend on careful strategy and planning it out with your teammates. With the only downside, is that there is no competitive mode on launch day yet, but they did ensure that this will become an option in the future. So if you are a big Counter-Strike fan and want to experience it in VR, then this is probably your best shot. On the other side of the spectrum, we have a brand new game known as Call of the Sea. This is a more narrative-driven title filled with puzzling adventures and only made for the Quest 2. Some of you might even recognize it from its original 2D release, but luckily, its transition to virtual reality only did it even more justice. With some hiccups here and there, it is still highly suitable for VR. Along with some well-designed puzzles and an absolute rich story, it makes Call of the Sea a very captivating adventure. It will probably keep you thinking long after the final credits have rolled. And of course Among Us put out yet another update. It seems like there is no stopping in shell games, with some major brand new updates almost every single week. With them now adding in new reporting options, so you can ban those people who show some nasty behavior. We also got some new cosmetics, and the custom lobby settings have finally been released. 
But make sure you don't miss the other quest soon news by checking out the videos you see on screen right now. And of course, stay awesome.